What's good, everybody? It's your boy Rio West. You tuning in, Rio West Gaming, and we back with another tutorial for EA Sports College Football 25. This one is a little tip, trick, or tactic, whatever you want to call it, that I use at most competitive players or most competitive users that I know use when playing defense in whether it be college football 25 or Madden. But this is on defense to help you get more pressure. Basically, all I'm going to do, which is the same thing that real players do in real life when playing football and what pro gamers do when playing defense in Madden and college football, and that's hover over the offensive line with an extra defender to draw the attention of the offensive line. So I'm going to get into this. I'm going to show you guys real quick what exactly what I'm talking about. So say we look something like this. So pinch the entire offense. So now, okay, so he's right there. So let them run that like so. All right. Now you see they eventually get decent pressure on its own. But say I come and. I hover over this gap right here. Like, and look at that extra pressure that it caused off the edge. Force the running back to take off. Or force the quarterback to take off. Now let's check it out on replay. So, like it. Notice how that guard is forced to pick up me, the linebacker, and that tackle on the edge is forced to pick up the interior lineman, leaving the edge heat capable of chasing after the quarterback, which led to him running out of the pocket. So again, you always want to hover with your linebacker in either A or B gap, or you can even do it on the outside with the tackles. But for the most successful rush, you want to hover over the A and B gap. So again, as you can see, once he hikes it, that guard picks me up, that tackle picks up the interior lineman, and leaves that linebacker free off the edge. Now let's check it out if I don't do that. All right, so we're gonna still pinch the line and see that tackle picks up that edge defender. So let's check out the replay. All right, let's check out the replay. Let's look at it now. The hike. The guard picks up the interior lineman. The tackle picks up that edge. And that's how you create extra pressure or generate extra pressure with your defensive line or your linebacking core. All you have to do is, again, you bring that linebacker down in either that A or B gap. And you hover over the offensive lineman. And you'll draw the attention of either the center or the guard on either side. And then once you hike it, and then what, what will happen is you'll either get extra pressure from the side where you're on with that, with that edge defender, or you'll get pressure from the opposite side. But it'll add extra pressure versus there not being any pressure at all. So again, all you do is you hover that defender. You don't have to blitz him. Um, I'm only blitzing him now because normally what I do when I'm playing is I hold the strafe button so that when it when the ball is hiked, he doesn't immediately take off towards the line. I just hover there and then I drop back into coverage because that's the whole purpose of it anyway, is to hover and just draw the attention of him and drop back into coverage versus if you blitz him like that, as soon as he hikes, if you're not strafing, then he's going to take off up the middle and then he might engage with the offensive lineman and drop back. So, again, all you have to do is whichever defender it is you're trying to create extra pressure with, you grab him and you hover over the offensive lineman. And when they hike the ball, it'll distract one of those, one of those offensive linemen and create uh, 
a mismatch or extra pressure from another defender on your defense. So that'll be it for this tutorial. I appreciate you all for tuning in. If you're still here and you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notification tab to stay up to speed with all things EA Sports College Football 25 as well as Madden 25 going forward. So again, I appreciate you all. That's been my time. Till next time, peace.